This is True Flight back with another Defiance beta video, so let's get right to it. This here's the map. Um, up here is where you're going to be starting. And then you come down this. This is where the uh, strata carrier crash is going to be. Um, there's a quick travel system, so you can jump around once you've been to certain places. You come down. Basically, this highlighted area is what is available in the beta. Um, these different points on here are different uh, challenges, races, things like that. They show you what you've gotten, scores. Um, the map itself is a much, much bigger. So there's lots and lots of land, um, more than what you've got available here in beta. And you have this cool GPS system. This is where we need to go. So you click and it gives you a turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Shows up here on your map. So you can find your way around easy. I'm going to go a little bit over uh, weapon leveling. As you use certain weapons, you gain experience in them. As you can see here, my light machine gun's gone up about halfway. As you go up experience, you gain different abilities and things. Every weapon's listed here, even the vehicles. Let me go back up to my light machine gun here. You can see it's level 2 now. And I get a 2% um, falloff damage, which means at range my gun does 2% more damage. And this is what I'm going to get next level when it goes up. Kind of cool. Um, here we're going to compare a couple different shields. Kind of show you what options there are out there. You can see this one's bigger, but has a huge delay. And regenerates 40% a second. This one only has a 3 second delay, but it's a much smaller shield overall. You got here, this one has a uh, only a 10%, but slightly bigger. And then this one has a 75% uh, regen rate, but it's a smaller shield overall. We're going to go with that one for now. Um, different types of grenades. I've only got the two here. Bio grenades. I'll show you what they do later on, but uh, a couple different types of grenades available. And this is what happens when you die. You can see in the middle there the incapacitated bar moving down. You have that long to either self-revive or have somebody else revive you. I'm going to crawl over here where it's a little safer. Revive myself. Now you can only do this once every five minutes or so yourself, otherwise you need another player or you will die. Up here under your health bar there's a little icon that says when your self revive is up. And I'm not ready to die yet. Okay, so here I'm incapacitated again. Self revived. I went way over my head, so I'm going to die again. There we go. Now my self revive is down, so the only way to get myself up is to crawl over here and hope this guy will help me. Which he's going to try. And now he's dead too. That's unfortunate. So here you'll get to see. <coughs> I've reconstructed you. However, the process is not cheap. Some of your script has been removed to cover the costs. And that's what death's like. I think my screen froze. Alright, this here is a uh, rampage. This one's Draw the Line. Uh, one of my favorites. You need to beat these scores here to gain the various medals. And then it compares your score to everybody else who's done this. Got mutated soldiers incoming. One. Rampage is you get a specific weapon in a very small area to work, and the idea is to stay alive as long as possible. You see the little red ring on my map, I can't leave that ring or I lose. Every time I kill somebody, the little multiplier score there in the, uh, the uh, right-hand side of the screen goes up. If you do not kill somebody for a certain amount of time, or you get hit enough, that resets, which is really bad in Rampage.
And then, like I said, the idea is to basically just stay alive as long as possible. The LMG is fully automatic, but it works better in small round bursts. There's a bigger guy. Most of the time you want to try to save them for after you kill a bunch of the little guys because it boosts up your multiplier and then they're worth more points. On the same time, they have bigger weapons, so you want to kill them quicker because then you're not getting railed on by that bigger gun. It's kind of a toss-up. We already scored a bronze. Now I'm starting to get a little overwhelmed. Got a silver. Try to get a little cover until I get my shield back. I got my shield back, that'll help. Oh, and I'm up to a gold already. Oh, where did he come from? And that's the end of that. Gold! Uh, third place even. Not bad. Alright, this is a different type of uh, challenge. This one's a hot shot. Hot shots are similar to Rampage. You're going to get a single weapon to use. And the object is to kill as much as possible. Stay alive as long as much as, or as possible. One. This time around we got a three shot shotgun. <laughs> Now these offer a much larger area to move around and uh, fight in. Got a bunch of guys on the roof over there with long range weapons. So we're going to try to stick in and around this building to limit them shooting at us. This is actually one of the more difficult hot shots in the game. Combined with the fact that I suck with shotguns. Gotta get that guy with the gun. The enemy, you another one in there with a gun. I'll have to go get him. There he is. And another one. I'm sure there's better ways to do this one. I'm not very good at it. I do have a bronze already, though. Oh no, gonna shoot somebody. Don't reset. There we go. That's all she wrote. I got a silver. Good enough. Like I said, that's one of the more hard um, hot shots there is. And there we go. Silver reward. Not bad. This is a uh, episode mission. 
which they tie into the TV show. You can see here the reward is uh, Nolan's outfit. It's time to make some script. These tie in with characters from the TV show. They have a different icon on the map. And as you can see here, we got Nolan and Arissa from the show. They are done by the same voice actors in game as they do in the show. This is also going to show you what a uh, minor arc fall looks like. Arc falls come in two types, minor and major. The minor ones are usually soloable or done with a couple people. You clear out a bunch of minor ones, it usually leads up to a major one. Sometimes you have to destroy the crystals. In this one, it looks like we have to protect it. That's all of No need to be greedy. That bio ooze that he's covered with there slows you down. You move slower, you reload slower. It's really nasty stuff. Comes from those flying guys up there. They're really annoying. You want to take those things out as fast as you can. Then you got your bigger hell bugs. You kind of got to shoot them in the mouth. Like so. Some more of the flying ones. Flying ones are called archers. That's all of them. We've got mutated soldiers incoming. Of course, now that we cleared out all the hell bugs, the mutants want to come steal stuff. Look out! Moving in! Cover me! That's uh, one thing to note on the minor arc walls like this. You do not get loot from completing the event. Um, the major ones give you script and lockbox keys and things like that. The minor ones, the only loot you get is from the uh, enemies that you kill. Kind of like in the pump action shotgun. Love my LMG, but it takes so long to reload. Alright, Crystal's gonna blow here. And that's pretty much it for that. Come on, let's loot this thing before the vultures swoop in. This is fun, right? I want to punch you. Hard. Sure glad These interesting little storyline events, um, Name's like Noel. I said, they combine in with the this TV is show. Of sunshine is Arisa. We got a little job coming up. Maybe we'll be in touch. It basically leads you into the first episode. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's our Nolan outfit that we got for the quest. If you're a fan of script and meet a Richard, meet the crater bug. Alright, here we're gonna go a um, time trial. It's a vehicle race. You can see the records here. These are the different scores you need to qualify. We're going to go for that goal. 38 seconds. You get a cool modified uh, Two, one. quad for these. And the uh, time trial is basically a one, one, um, one shot straight away race. You got to get from point A to point B as fast as possible. There's also um, Hot Pursuits, which involve doing a certain amount of laps under a certain time. This is probably the shortest race in the game. Oh, it looks like we might be able to get the gold here. There you go. Didn't make the uh, chart, but we still got gold. Works for me. You're a fine shooter. As you level up your quads, you go faster too, so. And this here is one of the problems that I came across in beta. Uh, loot dropped inside of the terrain here. It's blue, probably a weapon. Can't pick it up no matter what angle I try. I really hope this is fixed in the uh, launch, you know, after beta's over. 
But for now, it's really annoying. And that was a quick look through uh, some of the beta stuff. I'm um, going to do a couple more videos, go into some certain specific weapon types. Um, there are more mission types and things that I did not go over, but uh, so many other videos are out there.